The increases are being felt right here in Central Texas. A family in Bell Mead says their rent is going up some 166 percent. 25 News reporter Alicia Nespreto explains. Freya Murray has raised her children in the same house for almost seven years. We definitely made it a home. A home they all loved and hoped to stay in for a while. This is wrong, you know, and everyone's telling me, I'm like, just move out, just move out. On July 18th, she got a notice that her rent would increase from $1,050 to $2,800, a more than 160% increase. I like immediately laughed because I was like, I think he, I think he hit the two instead of the one. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way he he thinks that we we could pay this. The Texas Housing Authority told 25 News there is no limit to how much landlords can raise rent, but according to real estate database Zillow, the average annual increase is between two to three percent nationwide. Well, I was fine with the rent increase, but not 2,800. That's too much. Murray says she understands inflation and was expecting a slight increase, but she also says there's a lot more to the story. Before notice of the increase, she says the landlord wanted to hook another tenant's electricity and water up to her meter. When she questioned if that was legal, his response that her rent was too low, which he claimed was also illegal. He, he brings a rent increase letter the same day that I told him I was, I was going to call code enforcement. And he says, rent increase will start um, August 18th. I want to tell you, the next day, the city came out and left this note and said it's illegal to have multiple residences to one meter. Murray says just 24 hours after the rent increase notice, the landlord told her he wanted her to vacate the property altogether. You're making the rent so expensive that you know I can't afford it. So I have to move out. That's what you're doing. Now facing high rates or possibly eviction, Murray says she does not know what to do next. We don't have a place to go right now. We don't. Murray's landlord did not respond to 25 News' request for comment. In Belmead, Alicia Nespreto, 25 News.